Here we go. Entering a two week wait window. I have not had one of these in what feels like a while. It's been like two months actually. So first step when entering a two week wait window, your two week wait starts after ovulation. So when you get a LH peak, whether you're tracking it on like the little cheapies like this, it's just an ovulation strip. I use the Pregnate brand, but Premom also has some cheapies, I believe. Um, also, Anito tracks LH. So once you get that LH spike, you can assume that you're going to ovulate like between 12 and 36 hours after that. Depends on what you're reading. They give you different windows. So essentially just start baby making after your LH peak. If I, if my body really did ovulate, it's already happened. So now I'm in this two week wait window. And the next thing that you look for is confirmation of ovulation. So again, I use Anito, which tracks my PEG, which is a metabolite of progesterone. If that increases and stays elevated, you ovulated. If it doesn't increase, I probably didn't ovulate. Another way to check if you don't have a fertility monitor that tracks hormones like this is your basal body temperature. Your basal body temperature needs to increase. You would know, like it's it's not you just go from like 97.12 to 97.17. Like your basal body temperature will step up, know that it's a high, higher than your baseline. So that also confirms ovulation. You don't need a fertility monitor to help confirm ovulation. But I use both methods. Um, that's it. Here we go.